Hello again. Another streaming recommendation here from Jared Case in the Dryden Theater. We're back around to the beginning of another work week on Monday, so you know what that means. We're going to highlight another film from the Nitrate Picture Show. This is our annual film festival that takes place every spring where we focus on celebrating and projecting nitrate film. This is the stock that was made up until 1951. They stopped making it because it was uh, volatile and could catch fire. Uh, so it was dangerous, but only in very poor working conditions, unfortunately. Uh, there were some poor working conditions, so they changed that out, and uh, everything was then made on acetate. But these prints that we show are vintage nitrate prints, which means they were made before 1951, often very close to the source material. So they are usually in very, very good quality, and it's something you're not going to see anywhere else. So we're going to stick with the first festival back in 2015. We're going to stick with 1937. We're going to stick with William Wellman and Frederick March. And we are also going to stick with the early three-strip Technicolor process for the film Nothing Sacred. The, this is the story of Hazel Flagg, played by Carol Lombard, top build in the film, but she doesn't really show up until about 16 minutes in. Uh, Hazel Flagg is uh, diagnosed with radium poisoning. And the story gets out to a reporter in New York City, played by Frederick March, who is on the outs with his publisher, but he wants to get another shot. So he goes up to Vermont to visit Hazel Flagg on the day that she finds out She's actually been misdiagnosed. She doesn't have radium poisoning, and she's feeling fine. But she's always wanted to get out of from Vermont town, and she wanted to go down to New York City. So when Frederick March gives her the chance to go down and be feted in New York City, she leaps at the chance. And this misunderstanding throughout the film uh, leads to a romance between the two, and unfortunately they both get into trouble and try to figure their way out. So this was the first screwball comedy that was actually shot in Technicolor, and it really is a wonderful one. It's also Carol Lombard's only Technicolor film. Uh, so it's a rare chance to see her uh, in fine form. This is a wonderful script by Ben Hecht uh, with a lot of zingy one-liners and not to mention some um, slapstick humor, uh, which comes in handy. Actually, Maxie Rosenblum, a former boxer who act acted in the film, uh, apparently gave... Je uh, I was going to call her Janet Gaynor. Uh, apparently gave... Carol Lombard some boxing lessons uh, before her altercation with Frederick March. Uh, so she actually looked like uh, she was give, delivering a, a killing blow there. Um, so this is streaming on Amazon Prime Video, uh, another wonderful film for you to catch up with. Uh, because it did fall into public domain, there are a few different uh, versions on Amazon Prime that you can access. The one that I found that was the best quality had a poster on the front or the, the where you can choose that actually had color pictures from the film uh, as opposed to a black and white picture or just a blank frame so that's probably the one you want to go with anyway this is nothing sacred from 1937 carol lombard frederick march directed by william wellman come back and we'll give you another one